I work with Dr. Zhang and I work with mesoporous materials, which is one focus of his lab. The mesoporous films can be used in a wide variety of different applications. These materials have um, high compressibility, which means that they can withstand pressure. And they also have a large surface area, which could be potentially helpful in harnessing energy. So PVDF, which is a material that we use to create mesoporous materials, exhibits really good piezoelectric behavior. And this is especially useful because we can incorporate these into piezoelectric generators um, and improve their energy output and their energy retention. When I go into the lab and work, and work with these mesoporous materials, I work on the creation, the synthesis of the films, as well as the imaging and the application. The one method we've worked on right now is putting these films into a humidity chamber. As the water condenses, um, it will actually sink into the film and this, this is what creates the pores. Because everything is so small scale, we need to use a scanning electron microscope to visualize the films. By using a very small film, we can further apply this material to very small devices that are either implantable or um, can be housed in the human body. This porous material gives this device an ability to not rely as much on an outside power source because it can just harness whatever um, mechanical energies in the body and store that. Mesoporous material actually improves how well the device senses glucose in the bloodstream and this is extremely important for individuals who need constant monitoring of glucose in the bloodstream like patients with diabetes. When you incorporate that into a glucose sensing device those are something that are potentially self-recharging so they might be um, quite possibly well fitted for communities that um, don't have constant access to energy or with individuals that don't have the time or resources to um, make that three hour trip to the hospital. Working in this lab has prompted me to ask myself questions about the things that scientists and engineers encounter when creating um, different devices for um, underserved populations.